Hi children, welcome back. We are moving on to the next video. In this video, we will be discussing few word problems. First question, a book is 24 centimeter long, 14 centimeter wide and 2 centimeter high. So the length is given, the breadth is given and the height is given. What is the volume of two such books piled on top of the other? So you have one book like this, same type of book you take. Okay, same type of book you take, you keep on top of this. What happens? You get a solid shape over there, right? You take one book, you know one book itself is a solid shape, yes, it's a cuboid. You keep the same type of book on top of that, you get another solid. So what happens over there? When one book is kept on top of the other, what happens? The height is changing, right? The height will change. What will the height become? Can anybody tell? Same book, same type of book. I have kept two books together. The height is changing over there. For one book, what was the height given? It is 2 cm. So if I keep the same type of books one on top of the other, what happens to the height? The height will become double. That is the height becomes 4 cm. So you have to find out the volume of that solid. Okay? The length and the breadth will remain the same. Only the height will change. So you can write length of the book that is equal to 24 centimeter breadth of the book or width of the book that is equal to 14 centimeter height of the book that is equal to 2 centimeter so what is the volume of two such books piled on top of the other? So either you can increase the height or what you can do is you can find out the volume of one book and then multiply by two. You can do it in any way. Okay. So what I will do is I will increase the height over here. The height becomes 2 centimeter plus 2 centimeter that is equal to 4 centimeter. So what will be the volume? Volume will be equal to length into breadth into height that is equal to 24 into 14 into 4. So you multiply and find out what you get 24 into 14 into 4. Yes. 24 into 14, 4 fours are 16 carry 1, 8, 9, 4, 1, 2, you get 6, this is 13 and you get 3 here, you get 336 that you multiply by 4 into 4, 24, 4 threes are 12, plus 2 you get 14 carry 1, again 4 threes are 12, plus 1 you get 13. So what is the volume of that book? 1000, what volume of two books kept together? Okay, 1344 cubic centimeter, 1344 cubic centimeter, okay. So you can either do it in both the ways, when you keep these two books together, the height changes of uh, their height becomes 4. Or you can do, find the volume of one book and then multiply by 2. Any way you want, you can do this question, okay. Next, a cuboid wood measuring 15 centimeter by 25 centimeter by 30 centimeter. What do you mean by that children? You are given the length, you are given the breadth, you are given the height. The question can come like this also. 15 by 25 by 30. That is the length, breadth and height. We will take it in that order. Is cut into small cubes. This wood, it is cut into small cubes. And what is the edge of the cube? 5 cm. Okay. One uh, cube, one wood, it is in the shape of a, one wood, it is in the shape of a cuboid. Okay, this wood, it is being cut into different cubes. This particular wood is cut into different cubes and the edge of that cube is 5 cm. So they are asking you how many cubes can they cut from that wooden box? How many cubes can be cut from that wood? Okay, not a box, it is wood. How many cubes can be cut from this? 
That is a question. So what will we do, children? Remember, in area, we have done this type of question. Remember? Uh, uh, one person wanted to put tiles in the kitchen. What did we do over there? First, we find out the area of the kitchen. Then we found out the area of the tile. And we divide it. Isn't it? Same thing we'll do over here. First, we'll find the volume of that wood. Then we'll find the volume of the cube that is cut out. Okay. We'll find the volume of one cube. Yes? Then we will divide both these volumes to find out how many cubes you'll get from this wood. Okay. We'll divide to find out how many cubes. So, first, you will find out volume of the wood. That is equal to 15. First, you write the formula. Length into breadth into height. That is equal to 15 into 25 into 30. So, when you do 15 into 25, you get 15, 5, 5 is 25, 6, 7, 2, 5 is 10, carry 1, 3, 7, then you multiply by 3, 15, 3, 7 is 21 plus 1, 22, so 9, 10, 11, add the 0, so you get 11,200. 11,250 cubic centimeter. This is the volume of the wood. Next, we will find the volume of the cube. Volume of the cube. We know the edge of the cube is 5. That is A into A into A. That is 5 into 5 into 5. It's equal to 125 cubic centimeter. So you got the volume of the cube. Now to find out the number of cubes. Number of cubes that can be cut out. Number of cubes that you will get. That is equal to volume of wood by volume of cube. How much volume is the wood? That is 11,250 divided by 125. 11,250 divided by 125. When you divide it, you will get the answer. We can divide and find out 11,250 divided by 125. So, here you have to take starting with three digits. You have three digits, so we'll start with three digits, but you can see it's 112. 112 is less than 125. So we have to take uh, the first four digits, that is 1125. So we need to find out where will we get uh, 1125 from 125 stable. So let's just, because it's a bit far away, we can just try what is 125 into 8. You get 8 to 16, 9, 17, 18, 9, 20. You get 1000 over here. So I think we can try what is 125 into 9. 125 into 9. 9 5 is a 45, carry 4. 9 2 is a 18. Plus 4, you get 22. And 10, 11. Yes. You've got 9 times 125 as 1125. So 9 times, you get this. You get the remainder 0. Bring down 0. The 0 will come here. So, how many tiles will he will we get from the wood? We will get 90, not tiles, we will get 90 cubes from the wood. So, these type of questions, keep in mind children, if it is coming in the case of area, whether it is coming in the case of volume, you will first find out the volumes of the two things that is given to you and then divide it. In the case of kitchen, what we had? We found out the area of the kitchen, then we find out the area of the tile and we divide it. In this case, we found out the volume of the wood. Then we found out the volume of one cube which is cut out. Okay? And when we divide it, you will get how many cubes you will get from that. You are getting 90 cubes from that. Okay? Next question. An oil container measuring 75 cm by 60 cm by 42 cm. Again, it is the length, it is the breadth and it is the height. Is half full of what? Oil. Is half full of oil means in that container it is whole, the uh, oil is only till the half of the container. 
it's only till the half of the container okay find okay uh, is find the volume of oil in the container find the volume of oil in the container so what we'll do children yes you'll find out the volume of the container and just divide by 2 because it's half right so we'll just divide by 2 so you'll write volume of the container that is equal to length into breadth into height here the length is 75 breadth is 60 and the height is 42 so first we'll just do for 75 into 42 if i is a 10 14 15 4 5 is a 20 30 so you get 0 5 1 3 then I'll just multiply by 6, 30, 9, 18. So I get 1, 8, 9, 0, 0, 0. I have to add the 0 of that 60. So I get 1, 8, 9, 0, 0, 0 cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter. Okay. So then what's the question? Find the volume of the oil in the container. So volume of the oil. Volume of oil in the container that is equal to 1,89,000 divided by 2. So when you divide by 2 you get 9,000 sorry 94,500 cubic centimeter. When you divide you can see 18 divided by 2 you get 9 then again after that 9, uh, I can show you the division here, 189000 divided by 2, 9 twos are 18, then you bring down 9, 4 twos are 8, when you minus you get 1, bring down 0, 5 twos are 10, 0, then you have 2 more zeros, so that will come over here. So 94,500 cubic centimeters is the volume of the oil in the container okay next two questions are there for homework i'll explain to you the drawer in kalpana's cupboard is 30 centimeter long 10 centimeter high and 45 centimeter wide the length width height of the drawer is given to you what is the volume of the drawer you can straight away do it so first you'll write length of the drawer height of the drawer breadth of the drawer write volume of the drawer equal to length into breadth into height and then apply the values and calculate a brick has a length of 18 centimeter, a breadth of 6 centimeter and a height of 5 centimeter. What will be the volume of 10 such bricks? Okay, so you will find the volume of 1 brick and then multiply by 10 to get the volume of 10 bricks. You have to write proper statements. You will write length of the brick, height of the brick, breadth of the brick. Okay, then you will write volume of 1 brick. Next statement you will write volume of 10 so when you are writing word problems, specifically don't forget to write statements. According to the marks, you have to write the statements. You have to write the units. That is very important. Okay? So with this, we finish this chapter. Complete your homework questions and study the formulas thoroughly. Thank you.